Oh, forgot to set up the green screen. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> What's clipping? What's clipping the mic? Oh, come on. Let's see. What's going on, Matt? Check, check, check. Turn this down. Check, check, check. What's going on, Dow? About now. Is the mic better now? Yeah, I play with the settings because I felt like it was way too quiet in all of my other stuff. All right, hang on. Uh, let's turn this down. Check, 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 check. How about now? Are we good now? I sound weird today. Way better. Quality is better, but quieter. Well, yeah. Let's see. Oops. Of course, I spent <coughs> I spent an hour on all this yesterday, and of course, as soon as you go live, nothing's. How's that? Is that too bad now? Too loud? Quiet? Too loud? Too quiet? Somebody talk to me. Are we good? We good? So I got a new camera. It's a good balance. Okay. So I've got a new camera. And I ordered the wrong dummy Fuck battery you, for it. Herbal. Hey, Soul Temp Rat. Thanks for the follow. I ordered a new dummy battery for it. So hopefully I can make it through the stream with is that too bright hopefully i can make it through the stream with the battery if not i'll be swapping cameras out and just killing the face cam so uh all right let's see today i can get this out of the way i was like trying to get everything done here at the last second i forgot to uh flash the elite c so i just did that so today we're going to be building this corn I had planned on doing a uh, hot air in addition to the hot plate but I think what I'm gonna do is just use the hot plate to go ahead and get it done and pull everything out here and show everybody what's going into this build that will be given away been watching on your phone before and it sucks compared to what yeah it's always better on pc so we've got some of the new stickers here hey joran with the sub thanks man so we've got some of these new stickers and little keyboards that will be included along with whoever wins sorry is that really loud still i've tried to turn it down i might just have to do something different It's long? Yeah, yeah, it is long. So, you'll get these stickers. The new stickers from Little Keyboards. Um, got OLEDs. These are blue OLEDs for the, for the, uh, for the corn. We've got powder-coated stainless steel... Powder-coated stainless steel bases. And then we've got... Plate foam. And... Walnut plates. Is it, is it looks too dark now. Someone told me it was too bright, so I adjusted it. Now it's too dark. There we go. So we've got walnut plates. Okay, be right back. All right, see you when you get back. We've got milk switches. All this stuff's available over on Little Keyboards. They're the ones that provided me with this board that we're going to be giving away this week over on Instagram. Uh, at the end of the stream, I'm going to do a couple on-stream giveaways, but this board is going to be given away via Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's Twitch Curveball. So you're going to get this little keyboards carrying case. It's got little keyboards, little keyboards. And so got Elite C's here, hardware. Let's get all the stuff out of the way we don't need right this second. So I can get to solder pasting. So. All right. 
right. I've got too much stuff on my desk as usual. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody having a good Wednesday so far? My coffee should be ready. I need to go grab my coffee. TRS cable, put that out of the way for right now. Fuck you, Kerbal! Future Bound, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You lost money in crypto today, coping. Oof, hope you didn't lose too much. Hopefully you uh, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Uh, let's see. need to go on this thing. It's been a hot minute since I have built a corn. Where is a picture of the diodes going on? Okay. So yeah, okay. Cool. Ethereum straight up crashed today after going strong in the morning. Yeah, I was going to wear this shirt, but it's too hot, so I forgot to take that off of there. Let me go grab my coffee. I'll be right back. So I'm going to go out and say today would be a good day to buy crypto if it's crashed. The PCB is a nice color. Yeah, it's purple. Purple is always a fun color. Hoping it'll bounce above. What is it at right now? I haven't even really kept up with crypto prices. It's been so long since I've been involved in any of that. I mean, I still have one little miner that's basically nothing. I don't know if you remember uh, Bitmain made a... Uh, they called it the ant router it was basically a little router that was a script miner and it runs at like next to nothing so i just have one of those plugged in back at my grandmother's house Ooh, i didn't clean that out very good last time solder paste into the trash can all right it's been a while since i've used solder paste Paste up all the hot swap sockets first. Down two hundred dollars today, though. Last I checked, the last little bit of crypto I had was only worth like two or three hundred dollars. So I haven't really checked it at all. So I have no idea what it's worth currently. Probably not much. Did everything crash? I've noticed that. As you know, you can't help but see crypto prices everywhere nowadays. It's like even Windows has built them into the little news thing that are always accidentally popping up, and I've seen it's all going down, down, down. So much for to the moon right now, eh? Is there any idea what's causing the crash? Usually... Usually there's some kind of root cause. Usually when everything's going up, it's because there's some country with its uh, economy failing. It's usually good for Bitcoin, not some crypto. It's going down everywhere. Rip. Bad day in the stock market and the international fiasco in a certain place. Yeah, it's uh... Hopefully, everything is going to bounce back. I don't know. I try not to keep up with that stuff. I just get depressed.
So like I was saying earlier, I was going to do hot air in addition to the hot plate, but I think I'm just going to hot plate it so I can keep the build time down because I want to keep this camera going as long as possible. So I'll use my hot air gun at another date. Am I using low temp? Yes, this is a uh, bismuth based. I believe it's 281 is the melting point. I'm going to do it in an electric skillet here in a little bit. And then I'm going to hand solder on the microcontrollers and the LEDs. The kit looks good. Yeah, uh, so this is from Little Keyboards. Um, if you hit exclamation point giveaway or exclamation point build, it'll give you a link over to Little Keyboards. Uh, he's based here in North Carolina as well. Met the owner at a meetup last summer or fall? It's around the end of the summer. Is it flux paste? Uh, this is solder paste, which basically solder paste is little particles of solder, little bitty balls. If you look at it under a microscope, you'll see it's little balls of solder that are suspended in flux. So you go and put a little bit on each of the pads here. Then you drop on your sockets. And I was going to hot air them in addition to hot plate, but I think I'm just going to hot plate in an effort to save some time. And we'll be giving this away on Instagram after the build is completed. Posting an image over there on Instagram. You'll need to like, share, make sure you're following me, make sure you're following little keyboards. Tag two friends, and this will go until next Wednesday's stream. And next Wednesday, we will use I can't remember the name of the website right now, but we'll use a website that's impartial to draw names from the people that have commented. And as long as they follow the rules, whoever we pull first will be the winner. You won't have to be here in stream. Uh, we'll contact you after we draw the winner. Um, be careful, guys. Uh, you never know. There might be some shitty folks out there that decide they're going to try and uh, impersonate me and get your personal details. So if it's not for me, Twitch Curveball don't respond because I would hate for someone to have their personal information stolen or leaked or anything because they thought they were the winner if you want to be a hundred percent certain that you're the winner then join the stream next week when we draw at the end of tonight's stream I'm gonna do a couple little marbles games just to give something away just for fun we're going to give away a set of, uh, there, you're, you're right about that, PC load letter, always shitty folks out there. We're going to give away a set of cherry clippings and 90 uh, Gateron switches. They're the uh, commonly referred to as the Milky Top Gateron switches. Uh, what is the exact model number? I have to pull it up on my site. I think they're KS something. I will look it up in a little bit. So this board is going to be a hot swap. Everything will be included except for keycaps. You will need to provide your own keycaps. But I will be putting Taro on it tonight. The switches that are going to go with it are a linear milk switch. That's what it's called. It's the Taro color. There's four different colors of the milk switches. If you look over on Little Keyboard site, it's a palm switch with an umwipe stem so I'm looking forward to trying those out I did uh, where are the tweezers I like to use these are not them um, I did lube them I've lost my whole train of thought there sorry guys I lubed them on stream the other night when I was live at like four in the morning because there was no one streaming and everybody needed something to raid 
So they are lubed. I lubed them with the gazoo method. So. Fuck you, Kerbal. The good thing is, if you don't like the switches, which I'm sure you will, because who doesn't like linear switches? Am I right? Backspace Sid, thanks for the follow. I caught some of your stream earlier today. What the heck are my tweezers that I like? Oh, well, this rework station came with some tweezers, so I guess we'll use these for now. I was watching your stream this morning um, while the landlord was here fixing a pipe that busted in my place last night. Oops, I'll throw a little more paste over there. Yeah, so I had to get up early today, which I'm not an early morning person. So I'm rolling on about three and a half hours of sleep. Then I had to drive. Yeah, I was... I was in uh, yours and Fatboy Charge at the same time, and then he raided you, and then I was stuck around for about 15 minutes after that, and I was just kind of lurking while I was, you know, helping the landlord get everything squared away, and then I had to run to go meet my mom for lunch. When I ordered this new camera, and when I ordered this new camera and the uh, battery for it, like the AC battery, DC coupler, and AC adapter. I order all my stuff at Best Buy on my stepdad's rewards account because he has the uh, total tech, so I get the free extended warranty and discounts and stuff. And for some reason, the camera went to the address that I selected, and the other one defaulted back to his address. So my mom drove about an hour and a half, and I drove about an hour and a half. We met halfway, and... I bought us lunch and everything, you know, since she was nice enough to bring that to me so I didn't have to drive about five hours today. Then I got home, opened it up, and found out it was the wrong battery to begin with. Or wrong coupler, I should say. So I've ordered the correct battery. I'll be taking this stuff back to Best Buy tomorrow. I do like this camera, though. Yeah, my mom's awesome, dude. I got a great mom. Um... Is there anyone here that's a mod? Can someone throw Backspace, Sid, Giorin, Cheese Lover? Who else needs shoutouts? Is there anyone here? Should I just nominate someone to be mod? Yeah, there's no mods here. And is this keyboard not plugged in? Or is it plugged in? Oh, it's plugged into the other PC. <laughs> oh, man. Slash mod at... I don't have permission to perform that action? Are you shitting me? How do I not have permission to give someone mod? I guess because I'm not using Twitch. I'm using uh, Shatterino. Joran, you should be a mod now if you want to toss out some shout outs there. If you're still there. Alright, Backspace Sid. Enjoy your lurk, get your work done, don't work too hard. So the new cameras look better than the stream normally does. Can anybody give me some feedback? I think they do. You're still lurking ish. Throw yourself a shout out, Geo. Put some cream in my coffee tonight. I was feeling it. I was feeling some cream. So, uh, can I make a dumb misogynist joke without anybody getting mad? I just need one person to say it's okay. Your internet went out. Oh no. Did you try turning it off and back on again? <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, so I put cream in my coffee tonight. Normally, I like my cream like I like my women. Or, excuse me, I like my coffee like I like my women. Wet. 
but um, okay. It's kind of hard to tell like a joke that requires other people's input by yourself. I don't know. That's always my go-to when people ask me how I like my coffee. Like I like my women. Isn't coffee exactly? That's how I like my women, though. All right. Sorry if you're female and you had to hear my stupid joke. So I'm gonna be hot and wet. Exactly. You'll be picking it up tomorrow. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah, when I looked at it yesterday, they said that the business was closed when they went by there. I don't know. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I've lost my whole train of thought again. Someone tell me what I was going to say. Who, remember, who knows what I was going to say? Uh... So I have some more stuff coming up for giveaways as well, guys. I've got... If anyone has seen Kibio's new BAMFK1, the big-ass motherfucking keyboard, 1%. I've got two of the prototypes coming for that soon. I've also ordered some big switches. Well, I've already got the big switches. So... Once those all arrive, sometime later on in March, I'll be building those and giving one of those away. Also talked with Canon Keys, and their owner has graciously offered to send me a Bacaneco 65 um, of their new revisions that they're making. So when that one comes in, I'll give away... The other Bacaneco 65 that I've already built that I'm waiting on the replacement case for. So we got some cool stuff coming up to give away. Yes, so the, the BAMF, the big ass motherfucking keyboard, is the one with two rotary encoders on it. Yes. Yes, indeed. And I can get you a link if you haven't seen that, but it's over on Kibio. Also, if you do make a purchase at Kibio, promo code Kerbal will save you 5%. Alright, I'll try not to shill any more products tonight. Alright. So I've never had good luck with solder pasting on these LEDs, but, but this one, these are a little bit different LEDs. I feel like I might have luck with these, because these are the ones that... The top mount ones I'll probably have to hand solder on. But the ones that are shined through, should be able to solder paste them on. Heading out, excited to catch the end build. Okay. Have a good one, Shandon, or Cheese Lover, excuse me. It's nice seeing you. What do you think? Should I try to solder paste on these LEDs as well? Or, yeah, these are the ones that should be not should not be an issue. And then the other ones I'll have to solder on by hand. So, so go ahead and solder paste. pads as well. So 
last time I was doing them, they were the ones that are not the minis. They were the ones that kind of sit on the hole and you have to kind of bridge across solder. That was my giant pain in the ass. I thought that's what these were going to be, but these are the SK whatever mini E's. So these are a little easier. They should work by reflow soldering on. At least I hope. Worst case scenario, we fix it with the soldering on. So I picked up one of these uh, Kado fume extractors. It's a lot smaller than I expected and I'm kind of mad because Amazon in the description and the picture it shows and the picture it shows it says that it's six inches. It's not six inches. It's like tiny. It's like barely five inches. So I don't know if the, the like, from what I can tell, there's only one size Kado extractor, so it's got to be just wrong on their site. I was thinking maybe they just sent the wrong size, but I couldn't find any other size. What do you guys like for a fume extractor? I was using that other little one, and it was just it was insufficient at best. Like an 80 milliliter. It's uh, this guy right here. But uh, shoot. Here, I'll show you. Um, so according to the pictures, it's supposed to be six inches. It's not even five inches this way. It shows it being six inches this way, six inches that way. And then it said like four or five inches this way. And that's like hella wrong. So I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully, since I do have a lid for my skillet, usually I do my reflow stuff outside when I do it in the skillet because of the fumes so I'll just hold it up very closely to the corner of the lid when I lift the lid and I uh, hope I don't choke myself out with fumes it's a reasonable hope right PC low letter, you were asking me earlier if this was low temp solder paste. What kind do you prefer? Do you use non bismuth based, which I believe most of the low temp stuff is bismuth based? Which it can be brittle, but none of this stuff is too high off the PCB. And once it's in the case, the odds of somebody hitting it hard enough that it's going to knock it out of place, knock it off, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Yeah, and this is only 281 degrees melting point, so that'll be well below too low to fuck up the LEDs but if I do fuck up the LEDs I got a spool of them we can replace them make sure I haven't missed any pads let's do diodes first make sure they're all I believe they are all facing the same way yeah cool Come on, get in there. Come on. 
where's the one? how bad my vision is getting until I have to read these little diodes which I don't think I could have read them very well 20 years ago to be honest with you because honestly I don't think my vision's going just kind of talking out my ass here <laughs> okay Then go make some food in the kitchen. You'll be back. Joran, you're going to go make food as well? All right. I'll see you when you return. <sighs> I have got to get some more coffee beans because I've got enough for like one more pour over. One more cup I don't know where any good local roasters are so I might have to order something online I need to do that before I forget which I don't drink a whole lot of coffee but I do like to have it around when I want it to see where the line is you can't see it when it's got a good glare on it like that <laughs> So, hope everyone has had a good week so far. How's everybody doing this week? Did everybody uh, have a decent President's Day? Is President's Day George Washington's birthday or is it... I need to Google that. I can't remember if it's George Washington's birthday or it's just like between a couple presidents' birthdays. Which I guess every day is between a couple of presidents' birthdays, but because didn't they used to have like a George Washington Day and then they changed it to President's Day? I feel like I remember that, but from like history class or something. But I could be wrong. Who here is a history buff and knows the history of President's Day? Apparently Monday was Family Day up in Canada. What is family day, I wonder? I need to look that up. Is there any Canadians still here? I know Jordan went to make food. You don't get it off for work. We haven't had any days between New Year's. Oh. Let's see, what is it? February, March, April. When's Memorial Day? That's like May, right? Or is it March? I don't remember. PC load letter, you're in Canada, aren't you? You're in California. Why do I think you are in Canada? I guess because I'm just used to everybody in 
Hammer Brothers stream span from Canada. I just assumed. You know what they say when you assume. Underglow LEDs. I'll hand solder them on after because I know they're not gonna want to cooperate with me. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if reflow soldering is really much faster. Enjoy surface mount soldering with a soldering iron as well, but you know, sometimes you need a little variety. So reflow soldering it is. Put that one upside down. No, okay, I thought I had it right. Just the way the solder went over it, it looked like I put it in the wrong way. Thanks for uh, hopping in that chat the other night and helping the dude out. That was one of the first things I asked him. I was like, you sure that's not the modifier? And he was he, he was pretty certain he had checked it and that it wasn't supposed to be the modifier. But hey, what can you do? At least we figured it out. Or the layers key, I should say. Not necessarily the modifier. I guess the layers key technically is a modifier as well. I needed two people to ask him to chat yet. <laughs> At least he figured it out. That's what matters the most. That's what matters the most. What did you go get to eat? leftovers that I made last night. Leftover spaghetti? Alright, alright. I'm not big on tomato sauce personally. But I do like some good spaghetti sometimes. I'm assuming with some meat sauce. I ate uh, my leftovers from lunch earlier. Since I was up early this morning and had to go run an errand, 
I picked up some breakfast. I don't normally eat breakfast, so I wasn't really hungry when I went to meet my mom for lunch. We went to uh, Cheddar's Ground Meat. Nice. You ever been to a Cheddar's? It's not a bad little place. They have a good pot pie. So I had a pot pie and a salad. I had to make the salad to go. I ate about half of it for lunch. I ate the other half about 45 minutes before I started the stream. Never heard of Cheddar's. Yeah, it's not bad. Supposedly everything's made there from scratch and the food seems that way. They call it like Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen or something. Some place my dad really likes, and it just happened to be something that was halfway between me and my mom's. So I was like, hey, let's just meet there. I'll buy lunch. And that's what we did. Mom had like a lemon pepper chicken with broccoli. She's on some diet and exercise program right now, so she's she couldn't have anything fried and stuff. And luckily they had stuff that worked with her diet. She got it without rice. I think it's usually served over a, pl a bed of rice. So. It looked pretty good. I'm not a big chicken guy, but I do like a good chicken pot pie. And their chicken pot pie is like legit, like made there in the store. You know, you could tell it's fresh made with the fresh, nice pie crust on it and everything. It was really good. Definitely better than like, geez, where else can you even get a pot pie? Closest is Arizona. <laughs> KFC has pot pies, don't they? I can't remember the last time I ate at a KFC. KFC I've never been much of a chicken guy. I feel like I've had chick chicken pot pie at KFC. And I feel like I remember it being good. But I imagine it's just frozen and they heat it up when you show when you wear it. Put that back in the fridge here in a minute. Marie calendars. Yeah, uh, I don't think we have Marie calendars on the East Coast, at least not that I'm aware of. Maybe in some of the larger cities, but I don't think I've ever seen one other than, like, what's the show, The Big Bang Theory? They talk about Marie calendars in a few episodes, but I've never. I've had the frozen Marie calendars pot pies, they're pretty decent. Chicken mushroom one, that's the one that I fucks with. It's definitely a lot better than like a banquet pot pie. But banquet makes these little apple pies. Oh, those are slamming. They're cheap, they're small, they're good. They'd probably be good with ice cream on them now that I think about it, but it's like a little mini apple pie. It's pretty fucking good. Pretty tasty. Getting hungry. I should stop talking about food. Sounds good. Yeah, the little. They're only like 79 cents or something. And I guess you could make them in the microwave, but I don't really microwave stuff. But I imagine the little apple pies would be good with like scoop of ice cream on them you know the little banquet pot pies I'm talking about like the cheap ones I might have to go turn the air on it is hot in here tonight
turn the heat off like way earlier today and when I looked at it a little while ago it was like gone up a degree I was like what the fuck it's supposed to be February what's going on here they're the same shape as the pot pies they come in the same little paper round trays Look for them by the pot pies in uh, your local grocery store. They're in the red box, you know, like all the banquet shit. Pretty tasty. So I had thought we had a uh, special guest for the upcoming collaboration stream, but they messaged me today. They had to something come up and they had to go out of town for the month back with their family. So back to the drawing board for our next collaboration stream, I guess. Or we could probably still do it on that night. Someone had a, I did get my, I got my beard at, shaped up. What are you talking about? It's probably just a little messed up because I took a shower not long ago and probably didn't. No, oh shoot, just drop that. Probably didn't pick it very good. Am I like leaning over and over this? So is it screwing up? No, I guess not. I need beard. Uh, I used to use beard oil. I don't as much anymore. I really wish that the barber I used to go to years ago wasn't so far away. To have a really good barber. Ever since then, I just haven't ever found another barber that has matched up to his standards in my eyes. I do. Got this. Should flick them an email and ask for recommendations. Yeah. I thought about that. I'm the juggernaut. I don't know what that's from. Unless you're talking about in Deadpool. I'm the juggernaut bitch video. Yeah, I'm not. Am I like out of the loop? Does everybody know this but me? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Do I have to go look this up right now? Is that what's getting ready to happen?
You don't apparently not. Which old X Men movie? I haven't. What's going on, BD? I haven't watched much Marvel stuff in a while. With that quote in an actual X-Men movie. Anyway, that's me a day late and a dollar short. Yeah. I don't know what we're talking about here. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, which one do I need? Okay, I got you. Don't you know who I am? My stream sucks. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. I feel like I've seen this movie, but Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut. I mean, I, I use it in, I use the Gazoo Springs and all kinds of switches. I put them in Durox switches, I put them in everything. I like them. I think they're, I think they're a great spring in general. It's a movie where they started to go wrong, eh? There you go, Mr. Epsilon keyboards, you can now post links. We need to have a New Zealander VIP, right? You said you had a Sokka too, Epsi. Have, have you been keeping up with it? Are they shipping soon or what? I thought it was supposed to ship before the um, Fuji 65, the Night Sakura Fuji. But when I looked at the Discord, it was looking like the Fuji was about ready to ship. I, I don't know. What's shipped and what hasn't? No idea. Yeah. I, I don't keep up with it well enough. That off my hands here in a minute. Meeting done, back to this. Your stream sucks. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Damn, Epsi, here I was thinking you liked me. It was all it was all a lie. It was all a facade. I feel like I've been bamboozled. But you know what they say. You learn something new every day. Oh, of course, it's got to be. My head's got to be too high. You like my new scene? Oh, that's okay. So I was just a, just a pawn in your sick game.
How do y'all like my new scene I made? I think it's pretty fucking funny. Did they have that uh, old The More You Know commercials in New Zealand? Probably not, huh? I've heard they have them in Canada. Canadian accent's so lit. What was it you were saying last night? Deckles? Deckles? I've never in my life heard a decal called a decal. Jordan, you've made it like 80 years mispronouncing decal. That's fackin' dackles. Yeah, I wasn't really... I, w I was doing other stuff like I'm normally doing when I'm watching the stream. And I was like, what the fuck did he say? And I looked back over and someone else said something. I was like, okay. A router should be called a router and not a router. No, he's talking about uh, somebody from the Command and Conquer community. Doc's World. Doc. That guy's... Loves him some Mario speedruns. Alright. Okay. Alright. Let me grab my hot plate. Be right back. Changing PCs. Okie dokie. Oops. Let's zoom that out a wee bit. Where the fuck did I put the power cord for this? I thought I set it up right there with this earlier. Not really now. Oh, you gotta be shit. Fuck me. you, Kerbal. Hey, Beep Beep Lettuce, thanks for the follow. Yeah, here it is. How are you doing this fine Wednesday, Beep Beep? Hopefully this isn't too loud, sorry guys. Thanks for the hot shoe. Oh, yeah. Try to put one in every order. Occasionally, I may forget one. So if somebody does get one without one, I apologize. And occasionally, I do run out of them. But I order like two eight-pound boxes at a time, so... All right, let's melt some solder paste. Let's see if I can center this. I don't think you're gonna get to see it melt. Okay, where's the temperature adjuster? Let's put it just below 300. Turn this guy on, even though I don't think it's going to do much right now. Is that coming across the mic? Hopefully not. Alright, here's hoping I don't burn down the house. Got a thermometer. I don't know if it's going to pick up the temperature of the glass or it's going to pick up the temperature of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the electric skillet. What kind of cooking stream is this? We cook in PCBs. There's, there's nothing there. There's nothing there, Hammer. But I learned today, today I learned... That Epsi was just my friend to get close to Geo. 
Very saddening. Oh, can you guys see the solder melting? I guess that's as close as I can zoom in. Yeah, it's definitely more than 79 degrees, so that's just picking up the glass. Oh yeah, I put way too much solder on there. Oh man. Hopefully it all pulls up together here once it gets hotter. Even so what's this process doing? So I put solder paste and apparently too damn much of it. And now the skillet is heating up to melt the solder paste. Hopefully it's going to pull into the pads, but I think I put way too much. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's pulling up. All right, good, good, good. So I would say this side is definitely the hottest side. I don't know if you can see, eh, not really. But if you could see the solder starting to come together and get shiny and silver, like solder's supposed to be. Come on, remove yourself there, little bridge. Use a 3D printed screw thing to dispense your flux and solder paste that comes on syringe. Easier to get small amount. Hmm. So I definitely see at least one bridge. Still a couple there that aren't quite to temp. Just a bit. Says we're at 342. That should be more than enough. There's still a couple little spots where it's not. What's cooking looks delicious. We're cooking PCBs, corn PCBs. It has stuck itself to my tweezers. Which way is this need to go? Let's 
Son of a... Alright, screw it. I'll just have to hand solder it on. Alright, I'll let this cool down. See bridges on the LEDs I'll have to fix. I'll leave that right there to cool for a moment while I go to the restroom, rinse my hands, and I'll touch up whatever needs to be touched up. Right back. Most of it looks like it's good, though. I didn't think about something to pick it up with. You don't have a good tolerance for heat, don't do that. Let me put this in the other room. <sighs> All right. So, let's see, for the most part, there's not too bad of bridges. There's some on the LEDs for sure. For the most part, most of it looks pretty good. I'll definitely have to touch up the LEDs, no doubt about that. Look at that. Yeah, I don't think you want your solder medium rare though, Hammer Brother. That's probably one of those things you do want well done. We'll have flux right here. Maybe I won't need it. <laughs> but turn it to down on this. Yeah. What's going on, Stomp? Just sitting here working on this corn. I just finished 
the reflow solder part of it. Now I need to let it turn it up and get the solder on it. It's off. I just finished up the reflow solder part of it. What is hold? What's going on here? Have I got flux all over these. That must be what it is. Looking awesome so far. Yeah. So I just uh, you just missed it. I was just baked everything. And the electric solder or the electric skillet. Do it on this temperature. I think you saw a little of it. All right. Basically, I just uh, put solder paste on all of. Yeah, I'm gonna need my flux. Shit, hang on one second. Let's see. I've got to get some new flux too. All of these LEDs kind of bridged up. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I guess I put solder paste. The music went quiet. Shouldn't have changed any. Maybe it's just quiet in the saw. So basically, I put solder paste on all of the pads for these surface mount things, and then we baked it in an electric skillet to melt the paste. back and touching up part of it. I planned on doing these LEDs by hand, but I figured I'd give it a try. And they did bridge, which I was worried about, but it's not a big deal. Not too hard to fix. Open PNP. Dave be clapping cheeks. Thanks for the follow. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I mean, even with it being open source, isn't it going to be a little expensive to source everything and make it? I don't do enough surface mounting that it, that that's absolutely necessary. And this solder paste I've had for a while, so some new solder paste probably couldn't have hurt.
And the solder paste doesn't pass this expiration date, but still. Solder pasting. And it's been in the fridge. It should be fine, but still, you never know. And I need to make excuses. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not. Is the camera, like, not... What's it... What is it focusing on? There we go. Might have to play around with the uh, focus on this thing sometime. It's still, still new to me. So, literally just got the camera yesterday. Focused very fast there. Yeah, I think I might have to go and play with the autofocus settings. There's a few different settings, and I don't know which one to choose for the best. Uh, best results. I know it has a mode that's supposed to, like, focus in on faces, but since I'm not using it to... Uh, Record faces, that mode, mode's kind of useless. Yeah, and I definitely don't do enough of this type of surface mount soldering that that's worth the investment for me. Yeah, next time I'll hand solder LEDs like I had planned. Light is reflecting right back in my face.
Yeah, that's uh, not happening. Not happening. I'm gonna give away a couple things on stream though. You guys hear me okay over the fan? We got school group. Well, the giveaway is gonna be happening over on Instagram, anyways, so. Hear me good? Okay, cool. Glow LEDs on. Twenty six, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Two, three. Can't hear the fan at all. Nice. Crisp is a magical little piece of software. Three, four, five, six. Get this flux off of here. I don't want to spray it with flux remover right now because then it'll probably fucking burst into flames as soon as I put the. Um, soldering iron to it again. Am I off camera? Hey, Trash and Tony, thanks for the follow. Hope you're doing well this evening. Welcome to the stream. I don't know what Tony did, but if Tony deserves trashing, you should be the one to give it to him, I guess.
Yeah, soldering's not too difficult, man. Especially like keyboard soldering, it's it's pretty forgiving. Pretty forgiving. What did you solder? Stop. You're actually typing on a corn. Nice. Through a whole 40% and a macro pad. What 40% did you build? And what macro pad? A corn and a Murph pad? Or not a corn, excuse me, a uh, Mercutio and a Murph pad? Those are what I'm guessing. Contra and a dumb pad. I haven't even heard of either of those. Who made those? Who done made them boards? Come on, get in there, solder. Soldered? Yeah, okay. Dumb pad is from IO3. Okay. I want my Vega to show up. It still hasn't shipped. So have you been saving those boards since 2018? Or did you just manage to get them from someone that had been holding on to them that long? any IO3 boards yet unless you count the unified daughter board in which case then yeah I have but I do I am still waiting on my Vega just watching videos about open PMP welcome back to welcome back Yeah, I don't know if I think, I don't think reflow soldering is any faster than I can solder by hand. So I'm pretty, I think I'm better at hand soldering all the surface mount stuff. It was from Australia. You ordered them from Australia?
Has anyone watched uh, the vendor was? It was crazy cheap, but it dealt. Yeah, I can imagine. Has anyone watched season two of Space Force? I didn't think the season, the first season, was as bad as the critics made it out to be. I thought it was pretty funny. I've got. I watched most of season one or season two. Excuse me. Yeah, season two, I think it must have just came out. I just happened to get suggested it uh, your last night or before night before. It's only seven season, seven episodes this season, but I've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's like before I watched it, I saw all the terrible reviews. And I don't know, man. It's just it just felt like Stephen Carell type humor. I don't think it was nearly as bad as. All of the critics were bitching about, but that's what they do. They criticize for a living. Take this thing apart and clean it tonight too. Has anyone watched All of Us Are Dead? I just finished that a couple nights ago. That's uh, not what I expected there at the end. I gotta say, it was, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you though. If you did see it, tell me what you think, what you thought of the end. Would like to hear other folks' thoughts. You're going to watch it soon? It's worth watching. It's got some moments that'll get to you, though. Not in a scary way, but, like, emotional shit. Which I guess you kind of have to expect that from a survival-type show, I guess. It's worth a watch. Anybody else seen anything good lately I should check out? Any, any suggestions on good things? Thoughts on Book of Boba Fett? Up a little nicotine here. Don't smoke, kids.
I heard there was switches included in the giveaway. Yeah, so this is going to be everything you need except for keycaps. You will need to provide your own keycaps. These are milk switches. Everything was provided for the giveaway from Little Keyboards. Littlekeyboards.com. Check them out if you're looking to make some little keyboards. It's got a lot of uh, little split, ergo, ortholinear stuff over there. Definitely worth checking out. He is also a vendor from North Carolina, such as myself. And Vietnam, all around good guy in my book. Flux is so damn shiny, it looks like it's bridged until I pick it up and get the light reflecting off of it. Keeps fucking with me. How good are the switches? Uh, I haven't used them yet. They are palm with an unwipe stem. Uh, the vendor that he bought them through didn't tell him the manufacturer. I have a feeling they're Texi. I could be wrong. They, uh, Seem to be okay, just you know, not in something, you know, from my first impression. They didn't seem to be a bad switch, they're linear, so as long as it's not scratchy or pingy, should be fine. Should be a good switch, we'll find out here in a little bit. Am I going to do a sound test? Yes. Unwipe stems tend to have some stem wobble. We can check that out as well when we get to it. In my experience, almost all switches have some stem wobble.
So go ahead and live dangerously and hold it down with my finger. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I worked in kitchens for a long time, so I have a pretty decent tolerance for heat. I do not want to stick to the pad. Anybody seen any uh, group buys recently that they're looking forward to or joined any join any group buys? Anything cool coming up? Anybody copped anything new and exciting this week? I don't keep up with group buys and stuff too well. If I did, I would spend too much damn money. So I try not to keep up with it too much. I would like to know what you guys have gotten recently, if you've got anything new. Not ready for group buys, we just saw a 40% minivan. Just joined the J Lumberjack round two. Lumberjack, that's like uh like a 60 something percent with a numpad okay that was definitely not oh. I know I looked at it recently oh no that's right it's a, it's a split split ortho linear yeah this is the one that uh allowed brother sent me the other day I just, I don't know, I, I can't, I don't like through hole soldering like that, I would rather do surface mount, I know most people think through hole is easier, but I just, I don't know, I just find it to be tedious. I would rather just drop my diode on and melt some solder and keep it moving rather than having to put it in, clip the leads, etc, etc.
So have they gotten rid of the little pads that you had to solder across? I guess so. I don't see it on either side, so that's a good thing. All right, so we've got our reset switches. Actually, let's save those. Let's get the sockets on. So I've got fits in a regular 60%. That's right. Okay. I knew I remembered 60% for some reason. So I've got the uh, ultra low profile sockets, Milmax sockets for microcontrollers, the little keyboard cells that we'll be using, and the pins as well. If I can line it up, there we go. Um, where is my captain tape? I'm definitely gonna need that. Where did I put it the other day? Somewhere on this desk. Oh, I had got everything together pre-stream. Of course, it's always something that gets forgotten. Hold on a second. Stand up and find it real quick. Oh, it was right here. It's somewhere on this desk where I did not know. It's like I just had it the other day. You know the other desk? safety work for socketing. Right here, did he get knocked off? Has anyone ever used painter's tape to socket microcontrollers with? Does it burst into flames or does it work? Should work. Masking tape works. I was literally just looking at it the other day when I was in Disastertron's stream and he was talking about his captain's tape. I was like, where is mine? And I had it, set it back down right over here. I thought, I think if I used it since then, You usually use electric tape. I don't have any electric tape around. Plus, it, doesn't electric tape leave a bunch of sticky crap behind? I just need to spend like an hour reorganizing this desk one day. I'm moving in a few weeks, so I'm going to try to keep things organized when I get in my new place and have more room. I 
looking for my captain tape. Did it fall behind my desk? Oh well, let's try painter's tape. Should be fine. What the heck? Oh. Yeah, I don't know where the heck mine's gone. Unless. Who knows? It'll show up the second I end stream. That's usually how that type of stuff goes, right? So I could have sworn it was right here with the painter's tape. Probably fell off and rolled away or something. <laughs> sha sha sha. Boom. There we go. Jaywit blacks, Jaywit yellows sound very different from each other. I haven't used either of them, so I couldn't say for certain. Uh, are they the same material? you have is the super thin roll yes yeah, for thin rolls no bueno in my opinion if they're made of the same materials I would imagine they would sound very similar but I don't know the difference between those two right off the top of my head Zade
So for anyone that doesn't know what I'm doing, is I'm taking these little pins here. And I'm jamming them through this tape that I'm using to hold them in place. And then I will solder these pins to the microcontroller. And that way, if you ever need to replace your microcontroller, you don't have to desolder anything. You just pull it out. Which, being as these are Elite Cs, your odds of having a failed microcontroller are a lot smaller. But still better safe than sorry. And for the little bit of extra work, it's worth it. Doesn't that make it a hot swap? Um, these are Milmax sockets, but I mean, most people just refer to it as a socketed microcontroller. Since a microcontroller isn't something you're really going to be changing out unless you have a need for it. But yeah, these are Milmax sockets and Milmax pins for microcontrollers. Uh, an alternative, if you don't have these pins, is you can use diode legs that have been clipped. Which I'll be using diode legs to connect the OLEDs here a little later, so... These pins can bend kind of easy, so you want to be a little careful with them when you push them in. I've found using these little pliers works the best for me for poking it through the tape, and then I just push it through. Because they are definitely too small, and with diode pins I have definitely stabbed myself before. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have any more. He gave me a link to a place that has them. He likely won't be stocking them again. As the ones he had before, he literally bought a company out when they went out of business. And in order to sell them again, he'd have to sell them like 10 times the price he was offering them for before. I never got my hands on any. I didn't know about them till too late. Yeah, I've seen them. They're pretty dope, but I can't get them at a reasonable price right now. So what can you do? So for anybody that's wanting to see, you see the pins sticking out there. The socket will go on those pins. And these are just little brass pins, which I just got a bunch of them myself recently. So I recently got some linear... Blah, linear rotary encoders ordered but they are way more expensive than the normal ones that you find everywhere the tactile ones any artisans what do you mean do I own any artisans I own a few I need a little more uh, context than any artisans I feel like you should have made your 40% with a nice nano. But you don't think the PCB PUV? The PCB supports batteries. Uh can I show you? Um I honestly don't want to dig them out right now while I'm doing this build. Especially because I've got this new camera and I don't know how much battery life it's gonna have. But if you stick around to the end and the battery's still holding up in this camera, or if it, if it dies, I'm going to have to swap out the cameras. So 
if you want to stick around to the end I don't mind trying to dig them out I'm moving in a few weeks so like I don't really have everything as easily accessible as I normally do I've, I've built a board that can replace using a mouse any keyboard can replace using a mouse you don't have to have a mouse to use Windows so it's short there's keyboard shortcuts for everything or are you saying if I built a keyboard that has like a trackpad built in I know there's been some attempts. There might have been one or two that went to production, but I've never built one like that. There are firmware with mouse key support. Yeah, you meant that. No, I haven't built one with any kind of trackpad or anything on it. I know I've seen them before, but I don't know if they actually were in production or were prototypes or what. But Seems like a weird novelty thing that's not really necessary in my opinion. Oh, see I talked about the battery dying and it decided it was going to die. Son of a bitch. All right, give me one second. I only have the one battery. I just got the camera yesterday. And nowhere locally sells these particular batteries. <laughs> Son of a motherless goat. Yeah. Exactly. It's alright. Come on. I'll take I'll put that on there. Supposedly you can charge it with the USB C so So it's got a contingency plan, it does. Sorry, you're going to see the giant wreck that is my desk, probably. Oh, is this cord going to reach around there since I'm moving everything yesterday? Yeah, that's good enough. Click the camera. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get this coin. That should work. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I did order one, but I ended up ordering the wrong battery because there was only they only have so. Canon makes these. Uh, webcam kits which it's cheaper to buy these webcam kits than it is to buy the dummy battery and the cord separate and it comes with like a USB cable so I went ahead and I ordered that but apparently their one for their mirrorless batteries doesn't cover or for their mirrorless cameras doesn't cover this camera because apparently it's different from the rest of their mirrorless cables or mirrorless cameras so I've got to return that to the buy of best 
which was a real shit show because they sent that to the wrong address, so I had to go meet my mom today to get it to find out that it was not even what I needed. So we both wasted our time today. But I won't tell her that. She doesn't need to know. Okay, let's Hey, that's promising. All the LEDs work first try. Where's Dia? Sorry about the cameras. <laughs> well, good luck to all who enter. So what's up with this one here? Tab, it should be working now. Diode's upside down.
Yeah, okay, cool. We are all good there. So now we can take this off. Oh, they always have to be such a pain to get off. Straighten these pins back out. <laughs> What's up, Project? Thanks for the sub, my guy. How are you tonight? Done any more epic dances lately? I hope I haven't missed any. I hear you owe Frank an epic dance. Where is Frank tonight? Did he go out of town today? I thought he was talking about going out of town. Where's the OLEDs? Where's my other Elite C? Yeah, probably partying. Yeah, so I had my new camera, but the battery died on it, so I had to switch my face camera back to my top-down camera, so sorry about that. Let's see here. Um, Okay. OLEDs. Boom. What you been up to lately, Project? <laughs> I like the face palm there, huh? It's probably my favorite emote. Probably my favorite of my emotes. For anybody else that's looking to get a caveman face palm emote, we'll get that with a sub, but don't feel required to sub. But thanks again. Thanks again for the sub. Mr. Builds X, I appreciate that. Hadn't made any more kids since I last saw you, have I? Have you? Still there, Project, or did you? Did you bounce out already?
Back on my snips. Well, that just yeeted itself somewhere off into the ether. Where did the other one go? There it is. There she be. Get in there. There we go. So this time we're using diode legs instead of pins because we don't have pins long enough. Which, even if they make pins long enough for that kind of socketing needs. Looks pretty straight to me. Let's make sure we've got a working LED. We do. And now we have blue lights for some reason. All right, I guess it goes to match the LEDs blue. So now we've got to repeat that process on the other side. Now with my luck, this one's not gonna go so smoothly, but I'm not going to jinx myself. This is going to go perfectly. I can feel it in my bones. So everybody in chat, you, you feeling like this one's going to go smoothly as well? Or is everybody off doing other things and gone lurking? Gone lurking.
let's click. So the first half went off without any hitches. Here's hoping the second half is the same. Why are those pins not sitting even? Oh, I'm not going down all the way. Oh, you know what? I guess I should solder this on first. I'm like getting ahead of myself here. I like one of these ultra low profile ones is they sit straight. I almost can't put them on crooked unless you try. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna solder this on and then run to the restroom real quick. And I need to blow my nose. So if I'm sounding nasally, I apologize. Okay, I'm running to the restroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, man. I hath returned. Oh, man. Tomorrow I'm going to have a hell of a mess to clean up from them. Fixing where that pipe broke. There's dying drywall dust all over the damn floor in there. 
not looking forward to cleaning that up. I'm hoping Taro has compatibility with this board. I don't see why it wouldn't. I might have to use something weird for the space bar and enter, but we should be all right. Let's probably turn off the Nightbot command about a game I don't play anymore as leaderboards, huh? Let's remember to do that. There's all these things during stream. I'm like, I need to do this later, and then I don't think about it till the next stream. That's one of those things on that list. Today is Wednesday. Oof. It's not gonna be anywhere I can go eat tonight. I'm definitely gonna be heating up leftovers. It's just fine. Save me some money. Nice. What's nice? Not being able to go get some food and having to heat up leftovers. Should probably go ahead and throw it in the dang instant pot and put it on warm so it'll be ready. But man, I'll just microwave it. Even though I hate microwaving shit stuff. So the first half uh, worked fine without any issues. Just had one diode that I put on upside down. That was an easy fix. Oh, Project One, my boss. Yeah, he like subscribed, said a few things, and then just went MIA. So I guess he's probably knowing him, he's probably playing like Rainbow Six or something. If I had to take a gander, that's not the right use of that word. If I had to take a guess, I don't know why I said gander. It's not even a word I use in my vocabulary. Unless I'm talking about that hunting store, but I think it went out of business. Was it Gander Mountain? So, I actually, I might still be in business. I know I bought my dad a gift card there for Christmas a couple years back. I guess it's like a what's good for the goose is good for the gander reference, because they have like a goose flying by in their logo. I think they might be out of business. So you have to go pick the package up tomorrow or are they going to re-deliver it to you? Take a gander? Epsi, anytime you're on, I'm coming to take a gander. You can count on that. Is the quality worse on this camera now that I've had to switch them? Epsi, are you following around Joran, wherever he is? There you are. Now Joran's talking over here. You're back. 25 minutes. 25 minutes till you go live? Oh, hell. Well, I've got the majority of everything done here anyways, so... Won't be too much longer here. We have one of those Apple tags on them. <laughs> I didn't realize they could tell you what Twitch chat someone's in. <laughs> G 
Gio, have you ever built any split boards? I don't think I've ever seen you build anything where you had to put microcontrollers on in, your, in the streams that I've caught. Do you suck at your microcontrollers or you just live dangerously and solder them right on? Your hearts are in sync so you know when the other is on Twitch at all times. Wow. Here I was thinking I was important to you guys, but I'm just the third wheel. Oh, man. Guess I'll be crying myself to sleep tonight. It's actually true. <laughs> Oh, hell. I need to get some new emotes, and the person that did my emotes before... She's not taking commissions right now. Does anybody have any suggestions for somebody that's in the keyboard community to do emotes? Ask Rock Lena. She's too busy. Patinus can't take commissions right now. Something about PayPal and international something. I, I don't know. Got to find somebody to make me some new emotes. Got a quiz lined up tonight. Oh, well, that one's bent the shit up. Pepsi. Just don't worry, I'll be there to fail your quiz. I don't know. I am pretty exhausted, though. I don't know how long I'm going to stay up after the stream tonight since I had to get up at, like, 7.30 this morning. So that's, like, usually the time I'm falling asleep, so... How are my pipes? So, some of the pipes inside here, he's got like, I don't know what kind of pipes they are, but they're not like normal PVC pipes. They're like, I don't know, like pipes that would go to like a hot water heater or something. And apparently a fucking mouse, a fucking mouse chewed through the damn pipe. And like... A couple weeks ago, I'd heard something. It sounded like something skittering around in the roof, and I was just like, ah, it's just like squirrels or something on the roof. And then yesterday when I went in there to turn the water off, I saw some mouse shit, and I was like, ah, fuck. And I was thinking about it. I was like, I bet you anything. No, nah, they're not copper. They're like rubber or some shit. But I don't know. It's probably not up to code, but who cares? I'm only here a few more weeks. So right now there's like two holes in the roof. Well, not like in the roof in the roof, but in the ceiling where he's got a section like like drywalled off with the uh, duct for the air conditioning in there. So there's like two holes in there where they had to get in to uh, fix the pipes. Mesh or opaque. Uh, one's blue and one's red. Like, uh... uh they're not, I don't know, they're mesh and opaque, I guess. I don't know. I can send you a picture later if I remember. Let's see. Uh-oh, this one. Oh, my goodness. Have we got this soldering iron on this all the time?
I had a feeling this one was going to be a bit of a problem. Blowing out. Well, this was a result of a Fuck mouse purple. chewing through it, so I don't think it's a manufacturer thing. The hell is still holding it on there. Yeah, had a feeling about that when it wasn't quite sitting flush, but I was hoping it would make a connection. I'm gonna have to fuck with it, but boom, sweet. Set, test matrix. How's it going there, Joshito? Is that the Windows key? No, okay. I can tell if that diode is the right direction or not. Yeah, I think that diode's upside down. I don't know why I'm using a solder wick. I guess just because I already have it in my hand. Sorry about the scene. I'm trying not to have to change too much. Is this a layer? It's still light up a little bit.
Yeah, I don't know. I think that might be a layer. I want to wait on that. Check it on that. <clears throat> okay. Wait a second. When did I miss all this? The replacement was released that had mesh fires was in the plastic could expand to five times the size without breaking. Ah. Oof. These hoes ain't loyal. I'm like off camera. Sorry about that. Sort of. Okay, where is I feel like in the last corn I built I still had to um jump the little pads, but I guess that's something they've gotten rid of in the latest iterations of the corn. Which is a good thing. I never really quite understood the need to jump the pads. It seems like they could manufacture them in a way that that didn't need to be done. That is crooked as hell. Very nice. Let's see here. Solder paste slid underneath there. All right. Keep forgetting these just need to be cut.
Who's still hanging around? Anybody still in chat? There's everybody in lurk mode. Anybody got any thing exciting planned for the rest of this week? Trigity, what's up, man? How's it going? How are you this evening? tricky it's going good but you're tired I hear that I hear that what are you soldering on GR geo what's it what you soldering on you making uh, cables I'm assuming mr. dispatch cable himself feel free to throw out links to dispatch if you are so inclined if you guys are looking for some new custom cables my man Geo is the man you need. Freaking YC8. I don't know what a YC8 is. Ah, oh, it's morning there. Where you at, Josh? Good morning, by the way. Or Josh Edo. I'm assuming that's a play on the name Josh. Could be wrong, though. It's happened once before. There was this one time where I thought I was wrong. Turns out I was right. Therefore... I was wrong. Okay, let's check this. OLED. Oh yeah. That's what you have on your cables. They're a bitch to work with, huh? I don't know what the reason was that that one hot swap socket is not registering. Well, what, now they're red this time? Make up your mind. Let's see here. Layer default. Was it possible that this is a faulty hot swap socket? That'd be a go. So, diode is working fine here. That's where what I'm doing. I'm just so that caused a connection. I know it's not full screen. I'm sorry that the battery's died in my new camera. So, did I just get a connection? Yeah. So that's connecting. Why is this not working though? All right. Do I have another hot swap socket here? Do I need to go grab one? Go we'll grab one real quick. Let's try one more time, hitting with some heat before it passes. It's looking hot. Set test matrix. Yeah, I think it's a faulty hot swap socket. That's my best guess. So I don't think I've had one before, so that's weird.
here, I got a spool over here. I heard you like hot swap sockets. <laughs> This is how hot swap sockets come if you buy a spool of them. There was 2,000 hot swap sockets there. When I first bought it. So your name is your first D&D &D character? Do you know who you have that in common with in chat? Or I probably shouldn't tell someone's Twitch name story unless they want to tell it. But there's definitely someone in chat whose name is also their first D&D character, and that would be Giorn. So, you guys have that in common. Let's set test matrix. Okay, it's still not working. What is going on here? We got a bad trace? Seems unlikely. I'm not gonna have to jump this thing. This thing's not working at all. The fuck? Which one was it I did before that made it work? That. What the actual hell? What's going on here? It doesn't even look like there's a trace attached to the other side. Let's see here. Looks like there's no trace coming off this diode. I guess it helps if I plug this thing into type on, huh? Hmm. 
Anyone ever had this happen before with a corn? This doesn't make any sense to me. Everything. Let's see. Okay, so I guess there is a trace coming off of there. Hmm. Am I going to need a jumper it somehow? And how would I need to jumper it? Test matrix. That's making a connection. Diodes definitely not upside down unless there's just one diode that goes the other way on this one, which seems very unlikely. Check this build guide here. Okay, I'm just going to go past that right now and work on that off stream. When I'm off stream, I'll figure out if I need to jump it or if there's something I can do to fix it. There's a little bubble in the solder mask there. That shouldn't mess with the trace, though. And that's not anywhere near where the issue is. There's nothing lifted there. It's sometimes blue and sometimes red. Doesn't know what it wants to do. All right. Okay. So those two halves are all good and done there. Tip tire, where is it? There we go. Aside from the one on the left side that we need to deal with off stream because I'm not going to sit here and keep everybody waiting for an hour. Off. Let's move you over here to now. Got it. I don't realize how loud that thing is until you turn it off. Which I believe Crisp saved you guys from having to hear that vent fan, ventilation fan. Hopefully the camera's got a bit of a charge on it and I can hook back up the other camera here in just a second to finish things out and put this thing together the rest of the way.
Sorry if that was loud on the mic. I get the majority of this off of here so I don't get bits of solder all over the floor. Unnecessarily loud. So we've got plate foam. I don't think I've ever had plate foam on a corn before. So is it going to adhere to the PCB or does it adhere to the plate or does one adhere? Looks like one's going to go to the plate, one's going to go to the PCB. I'll just not peel the tape off so whoever ends up winning it, should they want to remove it, they have that option. Because not everybody loves, uh, it's going, man. How you doing? So not everybody loves plate foam. Just finishing up here on this corn that will be given away over the next week on Instagram. What I just do with the screws, okay. How are you tonight, Kuja? The plate foam is a good idea for this sport. Yeah, uh, so this was all donated by little keyboards for a giveaway tonight. And Viet from little keyboards loves these little small boards like this and he always seems to be ahead of the curve on the new things in the small splits you're sleepy as heck but all good isn't it early for you what time is it for you oh no you're you're south africa you're what six or seven hours difference so what is it like seven or eight a.m for you or am i totally off base on that 8 a.m. Hey, there we go. Right, what's going on here? There we go. Just pushing it through crooked. That won't work. So I need the longer standoffs, I know, for... Then I go through here, okay. Okay, okay. I don't know what that accent was even supposed to be. Hopefully nobody was offended by my weird okie dokie thing I just did. And if you were, uh... Sorry, I guess. And, I don't know what day. Got it just right. Hey, hey. So my new camera, uh, the dummy battery that I ordered was the wrong one, so I had to run off of battery power, and that's died. So I had to take the face cam and move that up back up to the top-down camera. So you missed out on all the exciting fun with the new camera which hopefully it's got enough charge here in a minute we'll switch it back before we play marbles and what have you do you 
think I should put switches on first. I gotta say the plate phones with these little boards definitely is a lot better than any time I've tried to do split boards. It is such a pain to get the plates on there with these hot swap ones like this. Can't wait to catch one of my CNC streams. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going back to that game anytime soon. It's just uh out of falling out with somebody in the community and just don't feel like going and being a part of it. It's gotten toxic over there. It's changed. The game got stale. They haven't changed the maps for the ranked matches in a long time and just don't have a whole lot of uh, desire to go back to it. Really, Pharaoh? All right, I'll bring Morty on in a minute. Let me finish this up. We'll bring Morty on while we play marbles. I say this walnut plate looks pretty freaking cool. Did the game tick you off? Um, just got stale. It just got. Just got to where it wasn't fun anymore. If I'm not having fun, what's the point? You know what I mean? Excuse me. was your childhood yeah yeah but we gotta remember back when the game was new dial up was what most of us were using so our online experience definitely wasn't what it is in the version today but you should definitely look into picking it up if you want a good uh, dose of nostalgia it was fun, but it just got to the point where after playing the same maps over and over and over, I was like, all right, this just isn't fun anymore. You have it, bought it day one. Uh, have you played it at all? Or did you just play through the campaign? I know the majority of people that played it just played campaign. So this uh, powder-coated steel base adds a lot more weight to this corn than I'm used to in corns I have built in the past. That's what customs and free for alls are for. Yeah, but you know, I don't know. It ain't the same when it don't count towards a rank. Not that I ever had a super great rank, but you know, definitely a top 200 player if I play. Didn't realize you were still here, BD. D 
Do you play much more anymore, BD? It seemed like you weren't playing too often there back before I quit. Unless you came back to it more. Just sat down for a sec. Play customs now, team games. Customs are fun. Like, I've played a few customs with Pharaoh when he's streaming. I'll hop on and play customs with him, but, you know. I'm not like other people who shall remain nameless that their whole value in life is based on red alert. for a corn not what you expect yeah this one's still not working I'll have to fix that later have a hundred percent win rate yeah I've, I've said that but apparently I'm not a two, top 200 player so I, I don't count <laughs> oh man that poor guy he thinks I give a shit about that game it's so funny all right you quit playing because I beat you seven times and I, I'm like nah that's nothing to do with it Quit playing because I started playing other games and realized how much more fun other games are. <laughs> oh snap, a wild Cujo appears. Yep, yep. Let me know if Epsi's getting to where he's going to do his uh, quiz. I don't want to miss that. or something maybe yeah jeez where'd everybody go getting about done and everybody's bounced well Jorn Odds are looking good for you on uh, switches and stuff I'll be giving away here in a little bit. The only one left. Kujo is still here unless he dipped out already. We're talking about red alert and everybody's like, I'm out of here. Screw that dumb game. Did I just totally put those on upside down? Wow, I'm so dumb. So dumb.
Riggity, I'm here just trying to win this damn weekly trial in Forza. In Forza, can't you uh, just have the cars race automatically for you? I know that was a thing in Forza that I used to have on Xbox. As we'd all get stoned and just sit back and watch it. <laughs> back when I still was a worthless stoner, I guess. It's a team thing and everyone except you sucks. Oof. You don't have any homies to play with? Or is it always just random teams you can't join up as a group? Yeah, it's versus bots. Uh, so like a time trial team race, huh? How does that work? Each person do a individual lap or are you all run racing at the same time? I'm confused a little bit by this, but... Okay... Oh, I need screws, aren't I? Big 12 person race. Is it 12 people or six bots and six people? I love these smoke acrylic panels over OLEDs. That didn't take too long, luckily. Definitely had acrylic where it was like, are you ever coming off of there? I got more fingerprints on it trying to wipe the fingerprints off. So, these keycaps are not going to be included in the giveaway, but I am going to use them for now and for photograph and sound test and all that jazz. Photograph, photographs. So, I'm definitely probably going to take more than one. What kind of support is this kit going to offer for this board? Oh, all right.
Artsy, why? Why did I just completely skip over there and grab? Why? Like, I can't tell, but let me just cut this light so you can see just how good those LEDs look with those. It's like, just happened to pick the perfect purple on my first try. What are the odds, eh? What are the odds? How much does this keyboard go for? So everything that I'm including with this giveaway uh, went for Two hundred and just over two hundred dollars. I can't remember uh, exactly what the price was. I have to look it up. Yeah, so I'm gonna be giving this board away. If you type uh, exclamation point giveaway, you can get all the details after the stream here a little later tonight. I'll be posting pictures on my Instagram and. The sponsor for this, Little Keyboards, wants me to give this away. So if you will follow me, follow them, like, share, tag two friends, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, also this is an open source board, so you can get the Gerber files and have your own printed, should you so choose. Uh, Unless you've got a laser cutter, you probably have a hard time getting the walnut plate and the stainless steel powder coated bottoms, but you can do FR4 tops and bottoms and it will be just fine. It will be functional. Little keyboards, yeah. Uh, Viet is a really cool dude. I met him at a meetup last year, and we've been in touch since then. Now I'm just hoping I have, I've got to figure out why this key isn't working too. I don't want to have to jump it, but I need to look into it. I was thinking, don't have Instagram but so you won't be entering but the keyboard re looks really nice the winner will be happy yeah I hope so um, I'm not gonna be including the uh, keycaps so and I've decided I'll figure out what's going on with this one switch later I could make it work by jumping the uh, um, that's the word I'm looking for. By jumping, what what row are these? Right row. Yay yay. By jumping the switch socket to the diode, I was able to. I was able to get the switch to register, so I can't figure out what is going on with it. I'll have to deal with that later. Let's see. I didn't want to spend all night sitting there trying to figure it out. I don't know why I like these upside down. Oh, so before I do that, I'll see what else do we have here? Oh, okay. I don't know, I like the green there though, eh? I think the green looks nice. This one switch here not working. 
Okay. Um, let's. What's here for right now? Okay, let's watch me stumble my way through a split keyboard type test, huh? Where did it open? Right there, okay. What? What? going on here with my scene. Um, let's see. Does this camera have juice now? Oof. Oh no, I didn't turn it off so it didn't charge. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Um, what is going on here? Where is... What happened with this scene here? Why oh, it's not working? This will have to work for now. Let's fit this to screen. All right. Oh, man. Be right back. Just moving inside. How tall is it from table to top of the keycap? Let's see. Um, it's bad to disconnect the aux cable while it's powered on. Yeah, that's usually the case for most of them. Uh, by aux cable, I'm assuming you're meaning the TRRS cable. So from the highest one, we're looking at... Just about an inch and a quarter. And that's because those are row one there. If you use row two, you're at just at an inch. So, so that is up to, I think the space is on the left of this thing, right? Oh, wait a second. I'm not doing that long of a typing test. Whoa. Uh, I don't know what alt tab is on here. Backspace, okay. Let's see here. Only thing is you're actually typing on a corn right now. I've, I've got one that's my own corn in there, but I just, just never, I don't know. I just couldn't get used to it. Gosh, it's weird when well, you're not used to these things. Um, let me see if you can, how the sound is. Four words per minute. The mic test is the mic not working? What's wrong with the mic? Can you not hear the keyboard? Anyone else just get an ad? Okay. Um, sorry, I don't have. Yep, I see there's an ad. All right. This is enter, right? Yeah. Oh, I cannot type with this thing.
add over now. I'll try again, but this is going to be bad. How do you get a new test? There we go. problem is like I have to stop to think every time I go to hit space because I'm used to hitting space with my oh I didn't stop the music I'm used to hitting space with my right thumb so it's like well they're not arrows I just put the arrow keys there just because they were the row that I wanted and the colors I liked I wanted the colors there really Gosh, I do not like typing on this. Wow, what just happened there? Wow, a whopping 34 words per minute again. Do you, boom. So here's what the layout is. I'm having problems with this one right here. I've got to, I think you were here when I was having issues, so I've got to go through and mess with that. Yeah, I just didn't feel like trying to find stuff to fit there, and I just threw things on there for now, for the pictures and what have you. Vim arrows seems the norm for people on 40s. Right. So it's, it's one thing with the, uh, little split boards and stuff like that is you've got a if you don't have a 40s kit or a ergo kit you've got to kind of make things work um well let's see here pharaoh are you still here should i just refund him his points for bringing morty on cam a half hour ago I feel like Pharaoh's asleep. Layers forever, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. I like, why is Spotify even installed on here? Why does that come on Windows now? Does Microsoft own Spotify? Is that a thing now? So, uh, how's everybody feel about. Okay. I forgot to switch this for a second. There's no way I'll be able to play marbles with that. So also with this board, should you happen to be the winner, you will also get this corn carrying case here. Little keyboards. Ba -bum. It's got a pocket. Pockets are always nice. Let's see here. Okay, what is going on here? Alt, enter. Did I plug in the wrong? No. Actually, using WASD layer. Yeah, so it's not too uncommon, I don't believe. There we go. Let's move this over here. Let's see. Okay. I really don't want to make a whole lot of changes to my scenes. What is this right here? That should be the keyboard. Let's hide that for now. Let's. Uh, we'll just hide that too, I guess. Okay, so for this first giveaway. I'm going to be giving away some cherry clipping stabilizers. So if anybody wants to spread the word, give everybody a second while I pull up 
this here. So I have been updating product pictures. This one here, so the cherry clipping stabs, they actually came with silver wires and not black like the uh, manufacturer sent me. But so this will is the first giveaway we're going to do is going to be for a set of cherry clip and stabilizers. We'll do like a two race Grand Prix, you know, we'll make it last a little bit and I need to rush right through and be done. And for the second giveaway, we give away 90 of these Gateron switches. You can get either the red, yellow or the browns. So the browns are attack dial, 55 gram, the reds are 55 gram, and the yellow are 60 gram. So let's do this first race here. Grand Prix, two maps, random, random. What do we got? Nothing too crazy. All right, boom. Exclamation point play if you want to play, guys. Is anyone still here? Does no one want cherry clip in stabs for free? And I will cover up to $10 shipping on either of them if you're outside of the U.S. Uh, the ones I just sent the other day, Cujo, you won the other ones, right? They were less than $10 so to send to South Africa. So, Is it just me and Trigity? Is nobody else joining? There we go. Wow. Everybody's asleep. I can't really, like, go in other streams and say, hey, I'm giving shit away. <laughs> well, okay, there's quite a few people on right now. Frank, he lives. I thought you were, like, going out of town or something. I thought you had already gone, because I remember you said you were going to be gone for a bit. I guess you're not leaving until this weekend, though. You're working. Ah. Gotcha, gotcha. So we're going to do two races. Oh, I need to start the timer, don't I? Uh, three minutes starting now. We're doing two races. Um, both of them are going to be Grand Prix. Two, two race Grand Prix. There we go. I swear I know words. Cherry clip and stabs. Free shipping up to ten dollars. So if you are outside the U.S., it likely it's not going to cost you more than ten dollars, anyways, because it was nine something to ship them to South Africa for the last person that won cherry clippings. Uh, the next race after this Grand Prix, the next Grand Prix will be for ninety Gateron Milky Top switches. These here, you can either pick yellow, red, or brown, whatever strikes your fancy oof why is that one so blurry it's really like the new pictures I took last night I didn't realize that one was so blurry what did it focus on it didn't focus at all that is a terrible picture might have to retake that one these are fine this one not so much still figuring out the camera obviously <laughs> all right I will definitely that definitely needs to go on the list of product photos to retake uh, sorry, my top down, new top down camera died, so I was forced to swap them out. Just that one sucks. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't focus. Like, it doesn't look bad when the when the when the picture's small. It doesn't really look too bad unless you look at it carefully. But I, I never claimed to be a photographer. Epsi. What do you got? 12 minutes till... Are you doing a quiz tonight, Epsi? Can Epsi hear me or does he have me muted? I see he's... Messing with stems there. Mango, what's up, man? What is up? 
So about 30, 45 minutes after stream, once I get some pictures of this corn, which I don't know why I'm pointing at it. It's not even on the screen. So once I get a chance, this corn right here will be given away. I probably improperly did the math, but I think it came out to just over $200 for everything. I will not be including the keycaps, so you will be responsible for the keycaps. Yeah, I figured he did, Gia. Um, you will be uh, responsible for getting your own keycaps. Sorry, I lost my whole train of thought. I keep doing that tonight, as you can tell. I did not get enough sleep last night due to a pipe busting in my place. I've got to get what are the key buttons again here. Who's going to get... Whoa, where did I just go? It always takes like two races till you get the hang of this. Who's going to be through that hole first? Who is it going to be? Yeah, so the landlord came and fixed it early this morning. So and then I had to go meet my mom about an hour and a half away for lunch. And she was bringing me the uh, accessories for my camera that got delivered to their house because I order stuff from Best Buy on my stepdad's account. I went in and bought it in the store. But for some reason... One of the packages defaulted to his address, to my mom and stepdad's address. While the, well, how long is it going to take to get through here? Have I got it on, like, slow mode? What is going on? No? Okay. Wow, that was, like, the world's longest. I guess I should have watched it from the top. Usually they come right through. Look at black tar flying through there. If I win doesn't matter I'm not gonna win but if I do win the entire Grand Prix whoever has the least amount of points in the Grand Prix will be given this prize and black tars out of there mango head shooting ahead is mango gonna oh where am I going jeez what the hell just happened I flew through there maybe I shouldn't have said I wasn't gonna win all right here we go this looks like it's gonna be a close one. Who is it going to be? Oh, I thought Epsi was about to fall in there for a second there. That's how this map goes. <laughs> yeah, this map. Uh, I don't really know the maps. My favorite one's map 34. So. You like this game for first to death? Yeah, it's kind of how it goes. Not finishing is worse than like getting last place, really. Because you don't get any uh, points in the round. The main thing is not getting yeeted in Grand Prix. If you don't get yeeted, you at least still have a little bit of chance. I'm not sure how many places you get points for. I really need to look into how the scoring works. we got Trigity and then Frank taking up the back of the pack. Oh, that was an interesting sound. All right, next race. What are these points? That's like season points, right? I've been playing a lot of marbles. Oh, Frank's got me beat on marbles. Geo's right up there with me. All right, next map. The Boomerang. I don't know this map. I don't know this map. Uh, that's the that's season points. That's not. Oh, it's this fucking map. Got three minutes to join, guys. That's the, that's the season points. That's not that race's point. That's how he has the most. Yeah, this map does suck. I, I didn't I don't know the names of the maps. I just picked two random ones. And we get what we get, I guess. Started trying this new vape juice yesterday. It's pretty good. Tres leches flavor. Tres leches. Tres leches. 
It's a Mexican style cake. If you've never had a Tres Leches cake, get you one. They're good. It's made with like condensed milk, regular milk, and heavy whipping cream, I think, are the three leches milks that are in it. I don't know a recipe off the top of my head, but I'm not big on cakes, but I do like a tress leches because it's like super moist. It's like literally soaked in milk. Where is that? Okay, there we go. We're just going to sit back here where we can watch the whole thing. Too sweet for you? So the last restaurant, sweet or creamy, one of those, kind of both. The last restaurant that I worked at, we had a, um, one of our cooks was Mexican, and his sister would make a tres leches cake, tres leches cake that he would bring in like every week. And like every time they had different fruit on it, you know, that, that's pretty pretty common for a trust leches cake to be like covered in fruit oh man they were so good oh shoot where did my stream manager go sorry I think an ad's about to start. Uh, how do I snooze it? Stop. Tell. Quick, quick, quick. Snooze. There we go. Cool. Snooze for five minutes. Shit, so that can be enough time. How many people are in? Does it tell you? Where does it tell you? Up here. 11. Okay. Oops. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. How was the build? It went good. It is all done. It's right here. I'll show it again here in a minute. We're going to do, uh, we're doing this race for some cherry clip-in stabs that I'm going to give away, and then we're going to do another uh, two-race Grand Prix for some Gateron switches, and then I'm probably going to find somebody to raid, which... Who all is on? Tim Keyless, Oshika, CG Buen, Rumi, and Epsi. So we'll look and see. Do I still have Phoenix switches? Uh, yes. Yours are arriving to me tomorrow. So yours will be going out probably with Friday's mail. Epsi in first, this one. Might put in an order for 65 board. Epsi is zooming. <laughs> He's got that uh, New Zealand swagger pushing him ahead. Epsi's in first, Joshito's in second, Rose Fade in third. Hey, the good thing about this map is everybody finishes. So. It's weird, like, I don't really understand how the ma marbles continue to move. There's not any kind of slant to the track. They just kind of move around on a flat track somehow. Looks like I'm taking up last place this time. Maybe there is. Okay, I guess there is a bit of a slant to it now. Okay, all right. We got Epsi in first. Not... No thup? How, I don't know how to pronounce that. Please let me know in chat how to pronounce your name. No thup, not hup, nothing pup. And we got Mango Head, Black Tar, Triggity, Joshito, Organic Ferret, Rose Fade, Frank, Joran, and me bringing up the tail. So. I don't remember what the places were on the first race, but I guess we will see here momentarily who wins these steps. Yeah, 
if you placed in the top three last time and in the top three this time, odds are you have won. All right, let's check the winner's podium. The results are in. The winners are. Drum roll, please. I don't think it even comes through the mic because of CRISPR. Third place, Mango Head. Second place, Epsi. Ah, so close. First place, what? What? How? How was I first place? All right, who was last? Geo, you were last. I said it was going to last place, but these are all... You all have zero points. Fuck. All right, we're going to do just like uh, one race. That did not work out like I hoped. Maybe I should have just stayed out of it, but I like playing marbles. One random race. Well, Tundra Tumble. Is this map shitty? All right. I guess we've got to go again. Sorry. Is there an ad playing right now? i, I got to figure out how this ad manager where it just says... Ad starts in 1 minute and 45 seconds. Alright, so if it starts in 1 minute and 45 seconds, it'll be 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I guess first place on the first map. Yeah, because there wasn't that many people that finished. Uh, exclamation point play, guys. I will be right back. I'm going to run to the arrest room. Give Pharaoh his points back because I don't think he's here anymore. Be right back. Exclamation point play. This is for the cherry clip-ins since I won the first one and there was a three-way tie in last place. Okay, I win. It's, no, oh, there's an ad. Damn it. Imagine now giving me the win. Pepsi quiz time. Okay, the ad's over. Let's hit this thing. Is everybody in that's joining? Last chance. We've only got eight people in this time. All right. We got 15 seconds. If you're joining, join now or forever 
be without your chance. Okay, why is this still up here? What the heck? There we go. Why are the names not popping up? There we go. All right, who's going to get these cherry stabs? I'm sorry, the first one. I don't know why I won. Exclamation point heat. <laughs> Did you join? You didn't even join. What happened? Did you not want some, some free stabs? What happened there? No stab zone? All right. Huh? No judgment zone here, so. I don't know. I, I join races even with stuff I don't want if I, just because I like marbles. <laughs> If I win, it's going to whoever's in fourth place. Whoever is in fourth place, if I win again. Sorry, I was drinking some water. Looking good for Mr. Shido. Oh, Mango Head, is he going to take him? Oh, what just happened there? What just. What? 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 I'm so confused. What just happened? I mean, I, apparently I'm out now. That was weird. I thought I was going to bounce back on. Like, what? Oh, those pins are pop popping up and down. Gotcha. What are these three little blocks for right here? All right, who's here through here first? Oh, these things are kind of uh, brutal. They just keep going back and forth. Geo, get in the quiz. Joran, get in the quiz. Oh, Frank. Frank taking the lead. I don't think I've ever played this map before. I know I haven't because there's no ghost in the lead. I don't know. This is going to be a close one here, I feel like. Uh, I think Frank's got it. I think... Oh, no. Oh, what's... Yeah. Congratulations there, Mr. Wayne. It's a stupid Batman reference. Sorry. How about that? I'm assuming that's what HBD means. I have no idea what that means. I'm going with how about that. Frank, do you want these cherry stabilizers? Frank, 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 do you claim? The first two races were a Grand Prix, and for some reason I won, and then there was a tie for, uh, I cl you clam? Then there was a tie for last place, so I couldn't really give it to last place, so we just did this race. But now we're going to do, all right, Frank, you claim. All right, I'll message you after stream and get your, uh, get your shipping. We're going to do another two race, what, what just happened? I don't know. We're going to do another two race Grand Prix here. Do these maps suck? Somebody tell me if these maps suck. 34 only? Oof. Um, We could do 34 only. I kind of want to do a Grand Prix though. I like Grand Prix. They're fun. 34 only? Okay. We can do 34. I do like me some Purtle. No, oh, Purtle. <laughs> Portal Purgatory. Just include 34 in the Grand Prix? Okay, okay, we can do that. Let's go random, and then... 34. The council has spoken. Alright. Exclamation point play. If you're gonna play, let me pull up the quiz here. Alright, guys. Three minutes on the counter. Countdown on the counter. Countdown counter. <laughs> there we go. So this is going to be for 90 Gateron switches. 
these switches right here. You have a choice between if you want browns, yellows, or reds. We'll pretend like that photo is not blurry, and I will. I could have swore I had one that wasn't blurry. I need to check my. I probably uploaded the wrong one. Why does that picture look so good from the old camera? The picture doesn't look bad. But you'll have a choice of whichever ones you want if you are the winner. It's a long 30 seconds here, huh? Well, we got nine people in. Who else is joining? And Epsi's quiz is starting now. How many baby sharks? 65. Oh, how many will be available? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to guess like I always do. Exclamation point play. Cujo getting in there just in time. Actually, you've still got a minute and a half. I don't know why I said just in time. I don't know. I don't know. It's late. I'm sleep deprived. Bear with me. How long have I been streaming anyways? Too long, probably. Whoa. What was that? That was I got the question wrong probably. I think it was probably two fifty, huh? It was five hundred. Wow. Okay. So the question was how many baby shark sixty fives or the Sangio? Sangio, however you pronounce it, will be available, and the answer was 500 for anyone that's interested in Epsi's quiz. All right, where am I getting talked about? Oh, okay. Looks like there's another giveaway, or another Marvel's going on. You got 45 seconds. And I probably just won't join the second race. Maybe that will... I don't know. If I win, we'll just give it to whoever's second in the Grand Prix. That's pretty easy. There will definitely be a second place. Hey, what's going on, Small Chungus? Just in time. We've got 10 seconds till this thing starts. Okay. All right, so it's always hard. Oh, it looks like Organic Ferret is in the lead. It's, it's hard to tell on these maps where it's not straight towards the end. Is this going to be another one that takes us 15 minutes to get through the damn thing? Over here. All right, who's going to be through there first? What? Oh, new question. New question. Where did I put the quiz? I've got too many. There we go. According to MacRupaz.com, how many? Which man you profile is the most popular after Cherry? I'm guessing DSA. I feel like that might be right. Oh, did everybody go past me? Where is everybody? Oh, I turned the names off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pro streamer moves here. Ah, oh, it was DCS. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen many DCS profiles. I know I haven't used one. Organic Ferret taking the lead right now. Yeah, DCS according to MetGroupEyes.com. Live. Okay, that must be like what's live right now. DCS is the most popular after Cherry profile. That doesn't seem right, does it? I'm guessing that's just. He does have live in parentheses. So, I guess that's what he means by that. Those are out of the live group buys currently. What is the second most popular profile? Looks like I'm bringing up the lead here. We've got Rose Fade 2 in first. Organic ferret hot on their tail, f whipping through this track, keeping it moving. We got snow anew, not too far behind. 
Let's see. Everybody's staying pretty steady. It doesn't look like anybody's catching up with anybody right now. There's got to be... Okay, so there's definitely a thing there that'll slow you down. Looks like Rose Fade did not get slowed down. Move right on through. Let's see what the... Uh, are they... What are they? Just little moguls, I guess? Let's see what the moguls do. Nothing. Rose Fade just going through all of these. Oh, I spoke too soon. Got slowed down there. I was going to say, you were unstoppable for a minute there. Oh! Oh! I thought, okay, Snow Anu is a ghost. Anyways, Rose Fade hits that boost, takes off, getting around here. Is that the end up there? Okay, cool. Uh, I thought it was longer, but I guess it has been a hot minute. Rose Fade still ahead of the track record right now. But we've still got one, maybe two. Oh, what did I just hit? Okay, so we've still got one or two. Uh, mogul pits there as far as obstacles to give someone a chance to catch up. Let's see. Uh, in interest check, what set does it come from? E equals MC squared. Is there a GMK Einstein? I don't even know. Rose Fade, first place in the first one. I'm just going to guess GMK Einstein. And I was incorrect. I don't even know what that question means. In interest check, what set does it come from? I don't know what that question means. All right. What did I get? Fifth. So we've got Rose Fade in first. Noth, Nothup. Not Hup. Nothup. In second, Small Chungus in third, Cujo in fourth, me in fifth, Mango Head in sixth, Joran in seventh, Trigity just finishing up in eighth, Eno in ninth with that crazy animation. We got Organic Ferret dropping in on tenth, and Josito, excuse me, Josh Ito taking in that last place spot. You were zooming, just built different, huh? <laughs> Pretty, pretty plain marble to be built differently. All right, we got one more in this Grand Prix, and that winner will get 90 Gateron switches of the color of their choice. Red, uh, yellow, and brown. Sorry, I'm like reading, thinking, talking too damn much. All right, Purtle, uh, Purtle, why do I keep saying that? Portal Purgatory. I'm joining. Fuck it. Got a minute 80. Look at that sweet katana drops in with me there. Got minute 80, three minutes, under three minutes now to join this final race of the Grand Prix for the 90 switches. If you missed the first race, it's still anybody's game. I feel like if you win this one and no one else finishes, easy clap. Easy clap. Did I actually turn the names off again? No. Okay, good. There we go. Still anybody's Grand Prix, guys. Don't be scared to hit that exclamation point. Play and play along with us. Hype. <clears throat> Speaking of hype, there's these awesome emotes that I have right here should you so choose to sub don't feel obligated but if you uh, okay the keyboard's not plugged into that computer ah <laughs> oh, me oh my can you do emotes in chatterino I guess it helps if I'm in my own chat oh So you get this sweet hype emote there, and I threw in an extra slash, because hey, why not? That was totally intentional, I promise you. Uh, let's see, who are we going to raid tonight? We got Tim Keyless, we got Oshika, we got Epsi, and we have Rumi. Rumi is still streaming. She's got to be about done. I'll check things here after this race. We'll chit-chat for a minute. And then we'll end this thing. And then I'm going to get some pictures, get them up on Instagram within the next hour or so. 
the rules will be in there. It's like any other Instagram giveaway you've seen. Like, share, make sure you're following me. Make sure you're following little keyboards. Tag two friends. And comment with the keycaps that you want to put on this board. Major Slab 8X V3.0 come come with comes with what two options for top cases in their full keyboard kit? Uh, what two options? I don't know. Gasket and top mount. Why not? Okay. Ten seconds. And it was heart or eye. Cujo getting in there at that last moment. I think you were already in though. All right. Oh shit, I hit the window ski. So, Purtle, not Purtle, why do I say that every damn time? Portal Purgatory. You know it, you either love it or you hate it. Best of luck to everyone. Let's see what's going to happen here. Do you guys like it from this view better, or do you like it from a side view on this map? All right, we got folks dropping through portals. How about, like, that view? Okay, what's going to happen here? Am I going to get popped in? Nope, I'm back in the portals. Dang, Cujo just got yeeted right on up there. How are you doing? This map is weird. Is this the first time you've seen this map? Yeah, people hate this map. I like it. Oh, Cujo! No, no go, no go. Josh, nope. Cujo is out of there. Sorry about it. Sorry about... Oh, no, that's a ghost. Okay. Geo, Geo? Oh! Oh, is he going to land back in there? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Geo. How about that shit? Organic ferret, he's yeeted over. Geo, I thought you... Oh my god, how can you shoot up that far and land back in there? That is insane. Insane. Wow. That map is no good. That map is great. Alright. So the only person to finish was Geo. I've got a strong feeling... That we know who's going to win this Grand Prix. In third, we have No Thup. Not Up. I still have no. Joran in second? Who's got first? Rose Fade. Wow. Wow. Rose Fade, do you wish to claim? Do you wish to claim? I'm imagining you do. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, if you're not in my Discord, exclamation point Discord in chat, we'll get you a link to my Discord. Shoot me a message when you're over there. Excuse me, I'm just going to randomly click one here. Ape, that sounds good. Okay, um, let me fix this scene before I switch scenes so I don't forget. Okay, back to crafting. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out so much. Thank you for spending your Wednesday night, Thursday morning, whatever time it may be in the world that you are currently experienced. Thank you for experiencing. Thank you for spending that with me. This is what we built tonight, this corn that was graciously donated by Little Keyboards. LittleKeyboards.com has everything you need for ortholinear split keyboards and more. These are the new milk switches in the Taro colorway. This corn was built with a powder-coated black stainless steel bottom. This thing has a lot of weight. Like, honestly, I can't think of a split board that I've used that has this much weight behind it. Um, let's see. Out of curiosity. So, 
We're looking at 319 grams. So that's what, about three quarters of a pound? So you've got 319 grams per half. Uh, this is going to be given away on Instagram. It will not be including keycaps, but everything else here. You will also get this carrying case from Little Keyboards, which is a perfect fit for your two halves of your corn. Boom. So you can fit your corn in there. You can fit your cables up here. Whatever else you might need to stick in there. Uh, what was the old uh, mid-90s uh, Saturday Night Live skit? You can put your weed in there. Um, where are the stickers? Okay, so I've got one extra switch. I will be including that. Extra screws. The rails and stuff if you want them. Not rails, but the sockets. couple of extra LEDs. I am going to figure out why this switch isn't working off stream later you'll also get the stickers that were included got one of each of little keyboards new stickers so you get these four cute little stickers you'll get the case I will leave the bump ons for you to put on if you win I also have left the cover on the LEDs so you can peel that off once you get it if you happen to win good luck to everybody that chooses to participate in the giveaway um, if you have any questions feel free to message me and ask me uh rose fade have you shot me a message yet on discord it looks like okay got you all right and i will get your information here in a little bit after i end the stream let's see who should we raid tonight guys is there something is there anybody looks like epsi just got a raid uh, i guess it was cg Gwen. Looks like Rumi is about done with what she's doing. I have no idea who this person is that I got rated on. An old guy with a beard who is spinning records. No idea who that is. Uh, Hammer Brother. How's it going, man? Uh, who won CG wins, uh, what's it called? Um, Giveaway. I don't think I entered it in time. Ah, cool, cool. What was he giving away, by the way? Expensive shine through? Yeah. Oh, I'm reading the wrong chat. Incorrect. Dang it. Okay. Um, I haven't got a single question right in Epsi's quiz yet. Uh, Kevin the Mighty has just gone live. When the world is on fire, build keyboards. Okay, so... Let's see what all we've got going on. You ordered white bases. Awesome. I'll talk to you here in a minute. Why is... Ugh. Okay, let's see. Makers and crafting. Search tags. Oops, wrong tag. Search for... Where's keyboard? Take that tag away. So we've got Tim Keyless has a lot of viewers. We've got Epsi has 42 viewers. Oshika has 11. 31. I have 22. And Kevin has just gone live with one. Um, hey, thanks for hanging out, Gio. Does anyone have a suggestion on who they want to raid? I'm thinking about raiding Kevin. He was here earlier. He's just started his stream, it looks like. Does anyone have any suggestions? Um, thanks out to Josh Ito for the follow. Project Builds for the resub. Trash and Tony for the follow. Dave be clapping cheeks for the follow. Beep, beep, lettuce for the follow. Backspace Sid. Future Bound for the follow. And Joran for the sub. Soul Temperate followed as well. Thanks out to all of those guys. If you're still here, I appreciate it. If you're not here, I still appreciate it. Thanks for spending your time with me. Rose Fade, you're welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me. I think we're going to take this over to Kevin the Mighty. Does anyone have a suggestion for a raid message? Anybody at all? Because my brain is about shut off. Let's see. <laughs> Hmm, 
what do I want to say? Let's see, what is he building? Puka. Um, the Puka, it's an Irish Puka. Uh, I don't really know what Puka means in Irish. I know it's a Irish board because of Disaster Tron. It's building it. Puka keyboard. It's a numpad macro. How about we say doesn't look like any puka shell I've seen before. Is that too dumb? We're going with it. Screw it. Like I said, my brain's not functioning. <laughs> oh, I just missed that question. All right. There's a raid message, guys. Copy that raid message. Let's hit them with that spam when we get there. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate each and every one of you. I look forward to seeing you next week, next Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing on stream yet, but I will be drawing the winner from... I can't remember the name of the site right now, but it's a site that will go through the comments and pull one of the people that are eligible. And we will find out who wins next week. Um, give it about, give me about an hour to get some photos up and then, uh, we'll get this giveaway going. So thanks so much guys. Appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your night. See ya. And sorry about the camera. <laughs>